Senator, recognize. Mr. President, thank you very much. Um, I, I'm on the floor this afternoon to honor uh, a friend, uh, a, a colleague, and the senior representative from Kansas, uh, Congresswoman Lynn Jenkins, uh, who has gracefully and honorably served Kansas for two decades in both our state and here in the federal government. And Madam President, while it will be, I'm going to talk a bit about Lynn's history and past. None of this should be taken as just something that is being read in, in her honor. She is a very special person who has served Kansas so well, and she brings such tremendous attributes to public service. Uh, we will miss her greatly, and Kansans will have benefited by her service, but she will also remain a role model for many who look for ways to make America and to make our state more prosperous and a brighter future. Uh, Congresswoman Jenkins grew up uh, on a farm outside of Holton, Kansas, a small town of just 100 miles away from Kansas City, just north of Topeka, where she learned the value of hard work and perseverance. You cannot meet somebody who grew up working on a dairy farm without determining they have those attributes, and Lynn exemplified that in every endeavor. She was taught what needed to be done was something that she would do. And when you do it, she learned that you do it right. And in every day, you need to step up and do your job to make certain that things get done. That's a dairy farm, and that's Lynn Jenkins as a member of the United States Congress. Lynn, before becoming a member of Congress and before being elected uh, in Kansas, uh, was a CPA, a certified public accountant, and she was recognized uh, the real need for financial reform as a result of that experience, and she used her skills as a CPA to benefit Kansas. In, two, in 2003, Lynn was elected the 37th state treasurer of Kansas. Lynn then took that same tax and financial experience to Washington, D.C., where she was elected the congresswoman from the second district of our state. After her election to the U.S. House of Representatives, Lynn quickly rose to become one of the highest-ranking members of Congress, serving today as the vice chair of the House Republican Caucus. She served that in that capacity for four years, and she is a senior member of the House Ways and Means Committee. It goes without saying that in addition to her background as a CPA, intellect, and service-oriented mindset, Lynn is one of the most beloved Kansans that we have. We meet with many of the same people in groups that uh, here in Kansas and in, and, uh, in Washington, D.C., and I know that visiting with Lynn is without a doubt one of the highlights of Kansans who come to Washington, D.C. Lynn also understands that while it may seem like this environment is a loud uh, and boisterous one and that uh, make your appearances on national TV is the effective way of being a member of Congress, She knows that you can really serve your country, and especially Kansas, by rolling up your sleeves and just getting to work. It's been a privilege to witness this firsthand and to work on a number of issues with Lynn over the years. Together, we jointly introduced the fair tax legislation. We worked to, together to protect rural health care in Kansas. We made certain our veterans received the benefits that they deserve, and our, we are both chairs of our respective hunger caucuses. We both are lucky to have Bob Dole as a mentor, and we have made it a priority to carry on his legacy to end hunger in America and around the globe. Lynn was also a champion of Mental Health First Aid Act, modernizing 529 college savings plans, Section 529 college savings plans, and was an integral part of passing major tax reform legislation for the first time in 30 years. Lynn and I often have shared flights back and forth from Kansas to Washington, D.C. She, like I, have chosen to remain at home in Kansas, and so we're often on the same airplane. And I could always count on Lynn to have the conversation to let me know what was going on in the House and her to explain to me what should be going on in the Senate that wasn't. Um, we were able to take care of our constituents' businesses, business by being together on that flight here to Washington, D.C. and that flight home. It also goes without saying that Lynn will be sorely missed as a leader and a sensible voice in Congress and in our Kansas delegation. 
Her role will be so difficult to fill, but I know she's excited about spending more time back in Kansas with her kids, Haley and Hayden, uh, in that place that we are so proudly call home, the state of Kansas. Lynn, I thank you for your many years of service, and on behalf of all Kansans, I want you to know we appreciate, we respect, and admire you. And Lynn, thank you for your friendship, advice, and your realness. I wish you the best of luck and countless M&Ms in retirement from Congress in what, in everything that comes next, may you, may you have success, may you have joy, and please know that you are missed and that we look forward to spending time together as you tell me still what I should be doing in the United States Senate.